Well, the state school superintendent announced on Friday that school buildings will remain closed through May 15th, and with the kids at home, it's putting a lot of pressure on parents. Joining us this morning with some helpful information is children's author Sharika Myers. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So parents are hard at work right now trying to figure out this whole online learning system. And then in the meantime, maybe they have some smaller kids that aren't really involved in schoolwork. What, what is some of your advice for parents? Actually, for especially for the for, for the little kids, I I advise them to have the kids like read daily. They can actually also engage in some family fun activities. And then Every One Voice Matters um, actually implemented a virtual school called Little Herbie um, Virtual School. And on Mondays, we have Fun Kid Math Learning. Tuesday, we started TikTok Tuesday. Wednesday is STEM. And then like we have on Friday, we have virtual field trips. where We have local leaders and celebrities come on and, and, and the kids get, get to visit them. So j just staying engaged in, in different activities to keep their mind stimulated. Tell me about Little Herbie, because he's a whole character, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, he's he's a whole character. I actually his his face is off my grandson, but the real little Herbie is is myself. <laughs> oh, that's so neat. That is so cool. And so this is yeah. a way to keep the little ones engaged, which is important too. Because how do you do the balance between the parents who are having to now work from home, many of them, and then the little ones who are, are fighting for attention? Because this is a real struggle. <laughs> they think you're home, and they think you're home just to play with them. Exactly, exactly. I believe that first the, the parents need to sit them down and explain to them exactly what's going on because some kids don't don't really understand. So so they don't understand why they can't go outside and, and why they're, they're not going to school. So it's best to kind of explain them a, a little bit what, what's going on and, and that allows them to like calm down and, and get a better understanding, you know, so. All that's right, and the then you said reading is important, but again, if your child can't read, that's sort of an issue too, you know, when they're, they're too little to do that. But so for the older ones, what's some of the advice that you have for them? I could actually like play on online games, you know, um, and even some of the older ones, some, some of the things that, because being that when school was in, the parents was busy. So so some things that, that the parents wasn't able to sit them down and, and talk about, they can actually take take this time and have some family time and, and discuss some things that they wasn't able to, to discuss when, when when everything was normal, going to school and parents going to work. So you use, use this opportunity to, to, to bond, to, to bond with your kids. All right, and if people want to know more about Lil Herbie, because he's just absolutely <laughs> adorable, where do we find them? Thank you. He can actually visit on, on Facebook on Little Herbie series and actually on, on Instagram at Everyone Voice Matters. And, and again, like I said, we, we have an online Little Herbie virtual school and, and they can visit our website at lilherbie.com and find, and find all the information there. Fantastic. Author Sharika <laughs> Myers, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. And thank you for having me. Thank you. You are very welcome. <laughs>